Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to create a shortcut to your assembly. So the first thing that you need to do is add a reference to Windows script host object model. And this is going to be under the com tab in the add reference form. And that would be this right here. You want to add that. Okay, so I'm going to go over how this method works. Uh, the method is called create shortcut to current assembly. It accepts a directory path. Uh, I'm not including the actual name of the file because we're simply going to use the assembly name or the product name. I'm using the product name right now for um, the file name of the shortcut because the product name will have spaces and stuff and it's more desirable, more pleasing to the user if you were to use uh, a short name or a name with underscores in your assembly name. Okay, so um, the first thing that you want to do is create an object of WSH shell class type and after that you're going to create the actual file path and the file path is the save directory plus your product name plus the LNK extension so it is recognized as the shortcut. Okay, after that you're going to use this inelegant code here to create a shortcut object. So we're going to reference the WSH shell object that we created earlier and call the create shortcut method. And we're going to pass in the file name that we constructed earlier, which is the um, which is the destination for the shortcut. And this create shortcut method is going to yield an object for some reason. And we want to cast it to type IWSH shortcut so we can actually use it. So we created a shortcut object here successfully. And then after that, you can set your properties. And there's several properties. There's properties like a description. The description is not visible to the user for the most part. The odds of the user seeing the description are very slim, so you may or may not want to set the description. Um, the icon is automatically set to the assembly's icon if it's not specified. So that's what we're going to do. We're not going to set the icon. We're only going to set the target path. And the target path is the shortcut to the actual um, path, like the assembly or the directory whatever is going to be opened up when the user clicks the shortcut. In our case, it will be our current assembly, which will be the application's executable path. Okay, and then after that, you simply save the shortcut. And um, that will simply write it to file. And that's pretty much it for creating a shortcut. Uh, let's see how it worked out. Uh, before I execute this, I'm going to show you how I called it. I simply created a directory here um, called folder and I'm using environment to get the folder path of uh, your desktop and you can either use desktop or desktop directory to get the desktops directory. And then I'm just passing that into the method. So let's see how this worked out. All right, just running the application to create the shortcut. The shortcut should now be on my desktop. OK, there it is. And you'll notice that the default icon for the assembly has been used. If you haven't set the icon for the assembly, it will just look very plain 